Hey everybody, um, welcome to my next tutorial. I got an awesome request from this user, YouTube user. <laughs> I don't know what I'd call that. I'm sorry if I sound weird, my throat's a little bit sore. But her name is, I hope I'm not butchering this, iRomeXD. Yeah, anyway, they requested that I do a tutorial on custom brushes and the settings that I use for my brushes, my regular brushes. So I thought that was actually a pretty cool idea because I have worked with custom brushes before and they're kind of hard to understand. It used to be kind of a really difficult process, but it's been made easier now. Now first of all, let me go to a let me go to Google. I'm gonna go to right here. <coughs> Excuse me. In order to get custom brushes to work, you need to have your side paint tool upgraded to the newest version. You'd go right here, update files only. Mine's already updated, but just in case, if yours doesn't work, Go to your, um, your, one second, let me go this side. And, oh, you can't see that. Go, hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> others, and then version info. If it says 1.1.0, then you're good. If it's 1.0 or whatever, it's not going to work. That's the oldest version. But this is the newest. Make sure it looks like this before you do anything. Okay, thank you. Alright, let me go back to normal. This is bothering me. Okay, we're back to normal now. Alright, so we'll pretend that I just updated. So everything is updated. It's going to look cool. You're actually going to have more tools than you had before already. I should probably have kept that open. But you'll notice over here that you'll have a mess load of crap, but it, it's it's all cool crap, don't worry. Anyway. Um, okay, so, you've updated Psy. You can go on the internet, anywhere, and there's even some DeviantArt ones. You just type in custom brushes for paint. Oh, look at that. Paint tool sigh. You can see I've clicked a couple of these, but there's some all along here that you can look at. The one that I looked at right here, it's actually for the Wacom website, the community part. Someone shared these textures, or not, well, yeah, textures and things like that. And so I was like, oh, that's cool, you know. So they give a link right here. Alright, so you get this thing. Make sure you have WinRAR. WinRAR is awesome. It opens zip files. So I'm going to open it with... Alright, and here you have these. Alright. Okay. So, what you have to do is go to your documents or wherever you saved the paint tool sci files when you first got the program. Like right here and then just drag flat map and it's going to ask I, I think it does this for um, whatever version of Windows you have but it'll ask um, if you want to merge with the original blot map and I'll say yes and then I'll have Ella map and I'll do the same thing it's going to ask if I want to merge with the original Ella map and I'll say yes okay so now they're in there Maybe my computer just sucks, but scroll down and find start dash sci. It's going to be in .exe file. Just run this. Okay, anyway. So you do the start dash sci and you get, you know, sci to open up again. Let me make this bigger because this is annoying me. Okay. So, I made this bigger. I, I'm so spamming this program. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we have it open. And the thing is, you're not going to see the new 
things in here, you will find them over here in this little drop down. See, I'm going to have a whole bunch now. Now, this person did a lot of really nice ones, and I realized that they work mainly with the brush tool, or the airbrush tool. Actually, wait a second. I just realized that in order for these to work, you have to have at least 50% right here in this box. I'm such an idiot. Um, yeah, so I'm on the airbrush tool right here. I'm going to make a big size so you guys can see it. And um, I have the first one, Blob Stucco. Number two. Notice it does this cool thing. And cracked sidewalk. It's kind of nice blotched sidewalk. There's a whole bunch of different ones. They may look the same, but they look really nice. See, that one looks cool. Actually, let me do this. You can zoom in and see the different textures in it. But that looked really cool. Stucco. Notice they look different. Like This one has a different kind of texture in the edge. Mm -hmm. I like doing that. I, like it's, I don't know, it's really cool. I haven't tried swirl yet. Oh, that is neat. Look at that. Sorry, I'm just discovering these two. Looks like fingerprints almost, like collectively pushed together. Alright, and I'll be done after this. Streak. Nice. Yep, those are the, um, the different custom brushes. I'll put a link up to that page <coughs> if you guys want to see it and go to it and try out the brushes. They're pretty cool. Now the second part of this request is what are the settings for my tools? Come right back. Okay. Now pen tool settings aren't really that exciting because it's used for like the same things. For my airbrush, I um keep them in size down obviously, unless I'm oops, sorry, I left the texture on. Unless I am uh, shading. And I, I always keep the density down too with the airbrush. Like that. There we go. <laughs> Sorry I had that all the way up. I don't know why. I think it's because I was working with the textures. For max dent pers, <laughs> maybe pressure, I don't know. I keep it at 100. And then 100 again for the hard soft. So I'll go over the important tools really quick the watercolor tool. I keep it at 60% min size usually. <coughs> Excuse me. Blending is 50, dilution is 50, persistence is 80. And smoothing purse <laughs> is 50. Keep opacity too. Ink pen. I love the ink pen. Um, hard soft is at 10. And let me see. Um, and the last one I'll go over is marker. For the marker, I have 50 for blending, 80 for persistence, 0 for everything else except for max dens pers <laughs> is 100, and 100 for hard soft. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, no.